everybody and welcome to another painting demo. I thought I'd do another 12 by 18 on the Canson XL pad. Wet the paper down and uh, we'll do another mountain range, a little bit of a different color scheme. So yeah, we'll uh, just a quick couple of passes just to, to wet the paper a little bit. Lately, I've been leaving the paper just a little bit drier than I used to. Is not as much saturation. Really depends on the paper. The Canson really holds water and keeps it on the surface more. Let's go ahead and mix up a little ultramarine blue, a little raw sienna, and we'll start doing a quick sky, quick sweeps across. Create like a little bit of a cloudy sky here. We'll go into some... Uh, Payne's gray with the ultramarine still on the brush and it'll create a nice looking cloudy sky. This will dry back some. A little bit of, a little bit of uh, alizarin crimson and we'll just do some on the bottom should we need something in the water below. Just some quick strokes with the brush. And let's do a quick dry. Okay. I edit out the drying for you guys, uh, so you don't have to listen to or deal with that when I can. So we've got a nice uh, foundation here for our painting. Let's do a little bit of a mountain range. We're going to take the same sky colors, the, uh, lizard, uh, the raw sienna, or the, I'm sorry, ultramarine blue, and... Payne's gray, leaving the brush a little bit raggedy, and we're going to create some sort of uh, jaggedy looking mountains in the back. Then we'll get the card and we'll do some scraping of the peaks. Don't be too afraid of messing this up because uh, you can always come back in and touch it up with a little more paint. Now I'm going to come back with some stronger ultramarine and Payne's Gray and just darken up the edges there. And just add a little more to the base. And we'll just mix up a little, uh, maybe do a little bit of a reflection of the mountains. Spray a little with the water bottle and keep it open. And we'll try to do a little bit of reflection work here. Well, the color's a little, little off. Just take a little more Payne's Gray and a little, use a little bit of green in there because I'm going to come back with some greenish color there. So just put a little bit there and then we'll spray it with the water bottle just to get that kind of flowing in a downward mode. So this is uh, ultramarine, Payne's Gray, just a hint of green. Actually it's not really green, it's just more a little bit of cad yellow mixed in there. Okay. Let's mix up a little bit of the same color, just darker. So we have some Payne's Gray, Cad Yellow, Ultramarine. These are going to be more of the foreground mountains. And we'll just run a little bit across. They're almost a bridge to each other. Okay, we'll just add a little darker color here little spritz with the spray bottle and just add a little darker of a color here across just for some variety. Okay, I'm just going to feather out, blend out this reflections from the side here. Just give it a little spritz with the spray bottle. Actually, maybe take a little uh, paper towel and I'll dab off a little... Uh, little of the excess. Now 
we'll just take a little paper towel here and just blot out a little bit of that excess paint. It's a reflection, so I'll be able to get away with that, no problem. All right. Still chasing hairs. <laughs> one right in the middle. I know sometimes I'll leave the hairs in there, but when you get sort of one that's right in your field of view, it's just really distracting. <laughs> Be probably handy to have a little pair of tweezers or something handy to just go in there and pick it out. Just brush it off with the paper towel. Kind of won't hurt for the reflection either. Just a light brushing across and you can make the reflections just kind of blend in a little bit. Almost kind of like what you do with oil paintings. I think it works a little better with oil paintings though. Okay. Go ahead and uh, clean the brush off. And I've got a little ultramarine and a little bit of cad yellow on there just to little bluish greenish uh, sweep across here for the water just to create some little foreground coloring here and wipe up some of the mop up some of the liquid here it's run down and just some quick fast sweeps across kind of a bluey green coloring here sweeping across Just to sort of match up with what we've done on top, keeping the same color scheme, which this is mostly ultramarine blue, cat yellow, Payne's gray, with just a little lizard and crimson in the sky. Now I'm going to take my uh, hake brush with uh, no paint on it, just a little bit of water, and just creating a bit of a water line across here. Got to clean the brush periodically to get off the paint that you just lifted off. And we'll just sweep it straight across. Take a paper towel and a quick run across and create a nice water line, just an instant water line. It's pretty dry, so you can wipe at it without worrying about rubbing off the rest of the paint. And maybe we'll just do a couple more. Yeah, we'll just do a couple more before I put any other paint on there. Just a couple little sweeps across just to create a couple extra ripples to look a little more convincing as water. And just touch that up just a little bit. Okay, that's it. I'm really not going to do anything more other than sign it. I think it looks pretty good, very simplistic. Maybe take a peek at it with a, uh, with a mount. This one here that I have is uh, it's a little smaller, but you can get the general idea. I have another mount that's just a little bit bigger. Take a look at it with that. Let me take it off the pad here. I'll take off the uh, sheet off the pad. 
and we'll just move it up the board here and see what it looks like. Just do a quick clip. And here's the other one again, one more time. It's not too bad. This is actually two mats I have together. One was a little smaller. I think it looks kind of nice. Let's take a look at what the other uh, the other mat that I have, and we'll zoom in after I sign it. We'll zoom in and uh, take a closer look. All right, let's uh, take the camera off the tripod here and I'll zoom in nice and close. And you can see that water line, you can see the, the, the jagged mountains and the nice sky there and the sort of reflections and ripples that we have. And it was all pretty sim simply done, four colors. That's it everybody, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and have a great day.